Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what are the different data smoothing techniques available in data mining and how to apply different uh, data smoothing technique for the given data set with a simple solved example. The binning methods are usually used for data smoothing in uh, data mining. Whenever you collect data for applying any data mining techniques, uh, usually the data contains a lot of noise in that. So somehow we need to remove that particular noise. So data smoothing is one of the data pre-processing technique uh, used for removing the noise from the data set. Now uh, we will try to see what are the different uh, data smoothing techniques are available. There are mainly three data smoothing techniques are available. The first one is uh, smoothing the data by equal frequency bins. Second one is uh, smoothing the data by bin means. Third one is smoothing the data by bin boundaries. So we will try to discuss each of these particular techniques uh, one by one with a simple example. Let us say that uh, we have been given a data. The given data may be a uh, sorted one or that may not be a sorted. So if the data is already in a sorted uh, manner, then there is no need to sort it in ascending order. But if the data is unsorted, then we need to sort that particular data in ascending order. In this case, if you notice the given data, the data is uh, unsorted. So what we need to do is uh, we need to sort the data in the ascending order. So once you sort the data in ascending order, we will get uh, the sorted data over here. Once we get that sorted data, we can apply the different uh, data smoothing techniques over here. So we'll start with the first one that is uh, data smoothing by equal frequency bins. So let us assume that uh, in this case, we have given uh, the bin size is equal to 4. If the bin size is equal to 4, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to count how many number of uh, data points are there. If you count the number of data points in this case, uh, there are 12 data points are there. So we will get uh, 12 divided by 4, uh, 3 bins in this case. So the bin number 1 contains the first 4 data points that is 8, 9, 15 and 16. Bin 2 contains the next 4 data points that is 21, 21, 24, 26 and bin 3 contains the next three next four data points over here so this is the very simplest uh, technique uh, uh, to create the bins that is uh, equal frequency by bins over here now coming back to the second method that is uh, data smoothing by bin means again what we do over here is uh, we will create the bins using uh, equal frequency and then what we do is we will calculate the mean of this particular uh, bin that is the uh, mean of this particular bin 1 is 8 plus 9 plus 15 plus uh, 16 divided by 4 because there are 4 uh, data points are there in this particular bin which is equal to 12 here. So bin 1 contains all uh, data points as 12, 12, 12, 12 over here. Similarly for bin 2, uh, bin 2 contains uh, 21, 21, 24, 26. So we will take the average of this one that is uh, 21 plus 21, 24 plus 26 divided by 4 which is equal to 23. So 23 is the uh, data point in this particular bin 2. Similarly for bin 3, we will take the average. The average is equal to 30 in this case. So bin 3 contains 30, 30, 30, 30 over here. Coming, coming back to the last method that is uh, data smoothing by bin boundaries. In this technique, again, we will apply uh, data smoothing by equal frequency bin. First, we will calculate uh, the bins and then we will try to apply the bin boundary over here. Now this is the bin before applying the bin boundary. The bin contains uh, the data points as 8, 9, 15, 16 here. What we do in a bin boundary is uh, we will keep this particular lower boundary and upper boundary as it is. But this particular middle values we will try to assign the nearest boundary. For example, if you see here, this particular 9 is nearest to this particular 8. So this 9 will be considered as 8 in this case. Now, if you consider this particular 15, 15 is more nearer to 16, so it will be considered as 16 over here. So, after applying the bin boundary, you will get 8, 8, 16, 16 in this case. Now, coming back to the second bound, uh, bin, that is uh, 21, 21, 24, 26. If you look at here, 21 is more nearer to 21 here and uh, 24 is more nearer to 26. So, it will become 21, 21, 26, 26 over here. Coming back to the last one, that is 27, 30, 30 and 34. 30 is more nearer to 27 as well as 30 is more nearer to 27. So it will become 27, 30, 30 and 34 in this case. So this is the last bin after applying the bin boundary over here. 
So in this video, I have discussed what are the different uh, data smoothing techniques are there and how to apply the different uh, data smoothing techniques on the top of a given data set. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.